guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a 360 rotation with a knife. Now, the, there are three parts of the hand you essentially want to use, four parts technically, three parts of the hand that you really want to use. Here, here, and here. It is possible to do it down here, but I have never been able to do it, and I have never seen somebody do it, so here it's just kind of theoretical. Now, the reason I'm using a butter knife is because this is the most balanced knife I have ever actually held. Its balance is located, let's see, about, ah, about there, which is good because when the balance is in the handle, you don't have to worry about manipulating the blade for the rotation. So when you do the rotation, you want to really kind of, you really want to start with a water bottle. A water bottle is much easier to do. You want to start with a 180, and then you want to move to a 360. I can sometimes get to a 720 and 1080, but it's really hard, especially with a butter knife. So here to here. Not that hard. Let's see if I can do a 720. Nope. That was a 5.6. That's okay. If I had one of my knives back home, which are incredibly well balanced, it's much easier. Now, the trick is you need to find where the center of gravity is, and you need to use that to go do what you're rotating. As you rotate it, you, you can't really do it backwards, which is this way. And it's also a little bit dangerous because, look, I could easily cut my finger. It's actually very hard to cut yourself doing a 360 rotation. The reason for this is, as you spin it backwards, it usually does not flip. Sometimes what happens is, is you'll be rotating, and then it flips on its side while rotating. Uh, let me show you. So I'm holding it this way, it's going to end up like this. Oh, I guess I did it right. I did two, I did it, it rotated twice. So let's try it again. See? Flipped. When it flips, that means you're wobbling it too much on your hand. Uh, you should avoid that because when you flip it like this, uh, while you do want it to change, if you do it with too much wobble, you're going to flip it and it's going to be, be facing you and you don't really want that because... So, when you do the 360 rotation, you want to be careful with it. You're not going to cut yourself, but it's easy to drop while you're doing it. The, now, a lot of people say that the rotation of the blade is not practical. I totally disagree because between this and this, which was faster and which was more secure? If You don't have to do a full 360 to get a knife switch. The 180 is what makes it practical. So, that is how you rotate a blade on your hand doing a 360. Uh, I saw a video once that had about, I don't know, 300,000 views, and it was just a dude doing one 360. You can get up to a 720 quite easily when you have a well-balanced knife. Unfortunately, the butter knife is well-balanced, but a little bit too much weight in the handle. You really want it dispersed between the blade and handle in the middle, and this knife does not do that. But it's the best one I have at hand because all my lives and cut cutlery are back home, and I'm like 3,000 miles away from home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Choose your knives well. Do not get a hinge knife. Get a, get a knife that's basically one single blade that's part of a handle. Because then you know the blade will never separate from the handle. It's very hard to take a knife and just snap it. But with one that has a hinge and it screws, you better believe I can smack it against a counter and absolutely knock the blade off. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and find your good night. It's your best friend and it might save your life from the outdoors.